Here we've got Molly Kiley. We've got Gracie, Amber, Terry and Jacob. Right. Come this way, come on. Come on. This is our walkies. The others went for a walkies of Wacky the Boar again. Indeed, yes. Oh, what's an interesting thing, um, um, real time with Bill Mayer. That's some bloke on who had served in the um, army and stuff. And he was talking about Afghanistan. And what he said was very, very true. He said, look, he said, what Biden's done is correct. He said, at some point, we were going to come out. He said, Biden basically ripped off the plaster. That's all. The band aid. That's all. I said it had to be done. That's what the person said. It had to be done. The other people were saying, oh, we're going to come out, maybe. They come out, maybe. And then Byron said, okay, we're going to come out now. Yeah. Well, it had to be done. So, and as, as the bloke said, it was going to be nasty anyway. Because obviously the Taliban want the country back. So they would kill people anyway. So. The army was trained up to keep the Taliban out. That's what I was trying to say a minute ago. Jacob, eat the rubbish. Come this way. Come on. So I say it didn't work. $90 million to train them up for nothing for 11 days. Yeah. Really? Where's the money? Really? Yeah. But that's, that's about those people. Not about the American people. They tried, didn't they? They spent money on it, so there you go. That's the point, isn't it, really? Anyway, 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 that, that, that's all I'm going to say about that situation because I found what the person was saying was refreshing because he was basically saying um, the opposite of what most people are saying because most people are saying, oh, Biden is a monster for putting it out and all that stuff. So, well, that bloke said, well, now, come on, you know, Obama was withdrawing people, Trump basically said we're going to come out. Anyway, he set the date, the original date, which was May. You know, so Biden said, OK, we're going to come out. Right now. Because everyone wanted out. The Republicans wanted out. The Democrats wanted out. Everyone wanted out. But they didn't have the guts to actually come out. That's the point. Obama didn't have the guts to come out. Trump didn't have the guts to come out. Because he knew the flack that would come. Because you come out, Taliban come back in, take power. Yeah, Biden at least had the guts to say, right, we're going to come out. We're going to take whatever flack we're going to take, that's fine. Yeah, because we've got to come out there, we can't stay in there forever. It's doing no, no one any good at all. Yeah, it's their country, let them have their country back and let them try and control their country. We've trained their army. Yeah, what's going on here? One second, come here, hi. What are you here with Yeah, as I say, yeah, yeah, both parties in America wanted to come out of Afghanistan. They knew it's a complete waste of space and it was never going they were never gonna make any difference. Yeah, they were never gonna train an army or have a government. Because basically if they put their own person in that government, it's only a tin pot government that's only gonna fall at some point anyway. They all knew that. I said no, Jacob. Come on, this way. Jake, come on. Jacob, come. When I say no, Jacob, leave it. Learn, Jake. I said no. You never know what's left. It's just apple in the end. But you never know what the heck is going to be left there. Even if it's apple, you don't know whether it's poisoned. Probably isn't, but you never know. Problem is, they've got to get out of the habit of finding food and eating it. And they're out. Not a good idea. Wait, you don't have to feed yourself, do you? You're not scavengers, so stop trying to scavenge, right? Anyway, so yeah, the American situation, tough. Really tough. So I don't, I, I think Biden's done well. I mean, say, if, even if it's going to go a bit badly for a while, what more could he have done? Could he have kept, you know, Soldiers there for another, what, 10, 20 years? They've been there 20 thinking years. Right, 20 years they've been there. Doing what, achieving what? 
You know? Did they get rid of the Taliban? No, they just moved them out for a while. That's all they did. They moved them out for a while, didn't they? Come here. But if they're going that way, I don't know where they're going to. I have no idea. Yeah, all they did with the Taliban, they moved them out. Yeah. Probably to, as I said, probably to Pakistan, where they can get trained better. Where they won't be moved out so easily again. Yeah, and they come back in greater numbers, really. So, yeah. The situation is, yeah, how was that useful? Not really, was it? Yeah, all that, yeah. Get Bin Laden? Well, that didn't work, did it? No. Stop the Taliban from, you know, harbouring terrorists? Well, there was no evidence, really, that they ever were doing so. Yeah, where was Bin Laden found? Pakistan. Not Afghanistan. Yeah, straight, straight after blinking 9-11, or about, no, just before them, wasn't it? Just before 9-11, Bin Laden was in a hospital. You know, if they knew where he was, they could have gone and got him. They never did. But they could have gone and got him if they really wanted him, but they didn't really want him at all. They never really wanted him. Even one point, he was actually in Afghanistan. Yeah, Americans went in, but there's a massive gap for him to get out. Was it intentional? Yes, yeah, they didn't want him. Of course they didn't want him because had they put him up as on trial or anything like that, they would never have got a conviction against him. Never. Any half decent lawyer would have got him off from that. Jacob, come. Come on, stop rolling around him, whatever you're rolling around him. Don't do that. Not a good idea. So no, they didn't want being loved. As I say, I'm firmly, firmly of the belief that I don't think in any way, shape or form the Americans killed him. I've said before on video, and I will say it again, even if one of the soldiers that did it swore to my face that they killed him, no, you didn't. I don't think you did. No, I don't think you did. I think it, it, it served both the Americans and you know, Al-Qaeda to make people believe that the Americans killed Bin Laden. I don't think they did. I think he died of natural causes. And I think his body was then placed in the place where they found him. They were told where his body was. They wouldn't have got in. They may even have fired some shots. They may even fire some shots into his body. A dead body. They may have done so. So they could take photos and show evidence of this dead body. I don't know, that would have been staged for photographs and stuff like that. But then, again, why... They've got the evil Bin Laden, the person apparently responsible for 9-11, right? If you've got this evil person from 9-11, the person was laying on the floor, you can't ever do that with dogs, not with pups, because they love that. Anyway, so as I say, with Bin Laden, you've got the Bin Laden, the most notorious, nasty piece of crap ever to have lived on the earth, according to the Americans. What do you do? You drop his body in the ocean. Really? Really? Why? Unless you're trying to hide something. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you bring his body back? Why wouldn't you have his body on show so that people could see that finally you've got this person? Well, partly because this person was now ancient. He was... He'd been dead probably for a long, long time. It probably wasn't in Bin Laden who they had. The body. No. Well, because they they'd done uh, videos showing evidence that Bin Laden was still in charge of Al Qaeda, but then the person they had was left-handed when Bin Laden was right-handed, and the person had dyed his beard, which was apparently against the, their belief to, to dye their beards or dye their hair at all. So why would Bin Laden be doing that? So there was a lot going on that just didn't make sense, really. Um, so it's quite likely Bin Laden would have been dead for a good number of years, died of natural causes. So what was he in the hospital for all those years ago? Was that something that could have killed him in later life? No idea. But, yeah, so Afghanistan, uh, it was a... It was basically, the army bloke just said, 
scientific term is it was basically a pusher. I've used a more polite word there than what he used. Which is true. That basically is what that whole thing was. What any nation trying to win. When Britain tried to win uh, a long, long time ago, that was the same situation. When Russia tried to win, same situation. Yeah? Their way of doing things, their way of existing is completely different to ours. Yeah, we don't understand them, they don't understand us. It's never going to work. They're not going to accept the ways of the West. They just won't. That's why I say, you know, do, does the West owe them? No, the West tried. Gave you, and I was wrong the other day saying 10 years, gave you 20 years pretty much without the Taliban. 20 years of peace, 20 years where women can go to school, can, you know, show their faces, can you know, be normal human beings, basically. You know, you owe us for doing that? No, sorry. Sorry, we owe you for doing that? No, you owe us for doing it, really. Yes, that's true. Yeah. If anyone owes anyone, you owe us for doing it. Anyway, so there you go, that subject. But there you go. Anyway, went to the gym last night. Um, did a bit of warm up with uh, crossover, cable crossover, um, to warm up the chest a bit to try the 42. Straight away realised there's nothing in there, chest. <laughs> it's knackered. Still knackered from the day before and what I'd done previously in that week. Yeah, in the area with the 35Ks. It was still knackered from that. I could have managed 35Ks. Yep, I could have done more of that. But 40, 42s are a different level, really. Couldn't do it. No, it just, just wasn't the strength to do it in the muscles. Come on, Tevi. Leave that, whatever it is. So anyway, I figured I will try the 42s anyway, because I can learn from it. I can see what I need to do. I've got to do it. And I actually got the weights into position. Jesus Christ, they were heavy. Very heavy. Incredibly heavy. But, a couple of months ago, the 30s were heavy. A couple of weeks ago, the 35s were heavy. Are the 42s any heavier to me than they were before? No. It's the same thing. Completely the same thing. Yeah, once you're used to doing it, it's not heavy anymore. It's only heavy because you're not used to lifting that sort of weight. Once you're used to lifting it, it's not heavy anymore, is it? So, yeah. Of course, that means that, uh, yeah. If I can do 42, which I should be able to do on Monday, because I did book an appointment for, uh, time for today, but now I cancel it, because I figured, well, yeah, chances are, I don't think the muscles are going to be really much more relaxed or recovered by six o'clock today so cancel that just don't do it go monday take a couple of days off that way the muscles should be completely relaxed well one thing i i can do is that um if i can do 42 then i should be able to get the 50 fairly quickly you're looking probably um no more than a month really it should be way under that really you could possibly do it in a couple of weeks. It depends. Depends. Oh, uh, wait, this way, come. Come on, Terry. Come. One thing is that beep collar does work. Because with him, as soon as I've made the beep work, he's come straight away. He knows that's the signal. And actually, early on, with um, just, just now, as we were coming around that area there, I beeped his and Amber heard it and Amber came away from the area straight away. I tried to get them away from the area. They wouldn't get away when I told them to get away. As soon as I beeped, Amber and Jacob both moved. <laughs> it works. There you go. They're all aware of the beep comes first, what comes after, if they don't take notice of that. <laughs> there you go. That's the thing. That's the key. That's what you want. Hi. So anyway, what I was saying about training, yeah, obviously 50 was something I was aiming to do, 
Uh, careful, you two. Not too rough. You're going to hurt yourself, okay? You got dirty? Brush off. There you go. There you go. Good girl. All right. Nuffy. Calm it down. Calm it down. Jacob. Calm it down. Run it off. Run it off, my boy. Okay? Run it off, Bubba boy. Be good, Bubba. Have a loves. Yeah, realistically speaking, getting to the 50, yep, yeah, once I do that, of course, what's then going to be the challenge? Because I've done the 10 sets. I've done a good two weeks of 10 sets. Come on, Abba. I'm here. I'm here. This person wants to walk through, then, okay. That's why I waited here, because there are other paths they can go. So... I'll, get out. I'll stay here to give him a decision as to what path he wants to go through. So there you go. Anyway, so 50, yeah. What challenge afterwards? I've done the 10 sets. I've done the 100 reps. Well, 10 sets is really more than 100 reps anyway. Um, and once I do 50, it's like, okay, what's the challenge going to be? I've done my body weight on the cable crossover on either side or on both sides. I've done body weight, haven't I? Um, so... What next? I could actually do age or more than age because certainly at the gym I go to, they've got no more than 50. 50 is the max. That's what they've got is 50. So I have got weights indoors and the dumbbells I've got indoors, I've got a longer, you, you add the weight to it, those ones. Um, but I've got one that's quite a long, is it collar? Is it called a collar? The thing you put the weight on? Bar, dumbbell bar. Yeah whatever it's called. Um, quite long in that sense, and the, the, the bit with the screw on bit is quite long. Longer than most, double the length. So you can get double the amount on there. And so easily I can get you know, a lot more weight on there. Come here. Jacob here. Jacob here. Come here, Jakes. Jacob, here now. Jakes, last chance. Come here, Jakes. I want this person to get a bit closer, then I'm going to say, come on this way, and they should all run past the person. Hopefully, that's the idea. Indeed. You've got a sticky... Oh, my Christ. Yeah, I worked it out. I can get up to probably at least 70 case. At least 70, maybe 80 case. I know some both. I'm going to come here. Where enough to fight you? You're here. Oh, you want the stab out anyway. Gracie, you good? Gracie, you good girl? Well, it's like cool, you know. How you doing? Hello. You're playing me company. Oh, I've got more indoors as well. Have you? Oh my well, gosh. What, are you rather well, dead old or what? There's 11 in total, and this one's had three babies as well. Sorry? That one here is a free baby. <laughs> oh, I see. No, they're only about yeah. four days old. Uh -huh. And so we've got 11 older ones as well. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. I to see them all like that. My daughter just lives over there. She was a hard up with car man. She's a Labrador. Cool. So she's just spending her last four years with her little head right of age. 14, oh. 15. You know, so they're sitting there crying their eyes. <laughs> it's just now, like, you know. Oh, it passed away. Yeah, they were up all night with her, like, you know. Yes. So she's. But tell her, she wants a collie. We've got three collies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three little babies, only four days old. <laughs> we live in Elgin, so. Oh, right. I don't know what she's doing. She's still got her other little pup, uh, a carrier. So she's still left with a carrier, a carrier like, you yeah. know. Alright, the only thing about Tevi is they can be quite, quite barky. Yeah, especially with bigger dogs. Because uh, Tevi is to think they're big dogs even though they're little. Uh, they always seem to have the attitude that they're quite big dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brand new. My German Shepherd I used to keep, like, before I moved in here, like, you know, I had a German Shepherd all my life, you know. <laughs> they're gorgeous dogs as well. Yeah. They really are uh, lovely dogs, yeah. A bit I actually need a <laughs> Right, man. Right, take nice care. Come this way. This way. 
There we go. So, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is certainly his daughter lost her dog. Her daughter. Dog passed away. Not good. 15 years old, though. So, the was so pretty good. Pretty good age. But, yeah, it's always going to be tough, isn't it, really? Yep. That's why we've got Timmy too, isn't we? So we've got um, Amber's baby, little Timmy. So and it's up to Jacob to then have babies with the babies. There's Molly's babies and Amber's baby. Um, so yeah, that'd be cool. I'm not going to keep any more of Amber's babies or Grace's baby or Molly's. They can go to new homes. Well, because we've already got 11. Okay. Jacob's already got a few girls to take with. Jacob! Come here, Jakes. Come in, my boy. I know you're running over to that dirty drinky, ain't you? Hey? Eh? You're running over to that dirty dinky. Good boy, Jakes. Good boy. You come back. One up, baby. One, Jakes. See if they both leave that dirty drink, can they? They should be. Yeah. We've been told enough time to leave it be, so. Timmy Toos! Timmy, come. Come on, Timmy Toos. Come, Mama. My right, Timmy's left that alone. Jacob went over to it, but then I beat him, and he come back. So, yeah, left it alone. Right. Racy! Grace! Gracie! Come here! Gracie! Behave! Not too sure what Gracie does though sometimes. Well she wouldn't know the boat the boy's leg. Only knows it, but it's like she's How are you doing? We're good. Come on this way. Come on. This way. Come, Grace. Gracie. Grace, come. Obviously, you know, she didn't nip his leg because I wanted to have said, no joke, just nip my leg. But no, she didn't nip his leg. But she knows his leg. Yeah. So it looked as if it could have been bad, but it wasn't. Um, she's learning. She's learning. Yeah. She's doing better. Thank you, Grace. You're doing better, brother. Good, good, Grace, Grace. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not sure if they need more walkies. It's hot. So I don't think they probably do need more walkies. It is quite hot and sticky today. It's one of those days, quite hot and sticky again today. Hi. I don't know what I said about the weights. Yeah, yeah, I can certainly got quite high on the weights I've got. I would just need to buy more um, other weights to go on the bar. But that's not a big issue, I can do that if I need to. But I'm not sure what challenge I want next time. Because uh, obviously once I get to 50s, then a new challenge is needed. Isn't it? Then I've got, I'm going to have to have a new thing to aim for. But what that's going to be, I don't know. I have no idea. Well, because 50k dumbbells is 100k in total, chest press. Which is not bad. That's okay. But I want to go a bit higher. I do, because I'm now 52. So, yeah, I want to do at least my weight, but that's possible to do. Yeah, or at least a bit more, yeah. With the one indoors, with the, put my bench down and use those weights there. Just add a bit to it to make it just over 50. Do that, yeah. But then, as I say, then it's a case of, okay, what do I do? I've got to focus on legs. Got to do legs, got to do lower back. Got to continue doing chest, shoulders, upper back, arms, all that sort of stuff. But really with them, it's just basically going to be a case of maintaining or continuing to do what I'm doing um, and build up slightly. With the 50s, if I'm at the gym, I can't do more than 50, but I can certainly increase the reps on 50. I can certainly do that, and so that would be the aim, to do more reps with that. To get to a point where I can do at least 12 reps with the 50. And then, yeah... Once I've done legs, once I've got legs up to scratch and now I'm back up to scratch, well then, God knows. I've no idea. No idea. 
Well, because I know at the moment there is a bit of an imbalance. The upper body is doing okay, legs aren't really. Legs that haven't been really worked upon and yeah, I've wear it, haven't really been worked upon. Lower back not really. Now lower back is worked a bit every time you lift the weight up and you put the weight back down again, lower back is, is worked. Come this way. Come bubble girl. Come and take two. Come Jake Jakes. Come Jake Jakes. Need that. Dirty bag. Leave it. Bag a bit ripped for some reason. Don't worry. I'm going to put that in the car for Lucy. It's an old glove, but I found it. And Lucy often has things that when we play wacky ball, as long as she's got something in her mouth, she's quite happy. Something like that would be quite ideal for everybody. Anyway, there you go. You take care. God bless. I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Get doggies in the car, get some food. Take care. Bye-bye.